about the Muslim brothers, I'll tell you the truth. Your religion as well is based not on the original scripts. Your prophets, so-called, they made big, enormous changes. And you're basing your faith on an original Bible that is not even the Bible itself. It's a new story that was told by your people. Ishmael was not the chosen child of Abraham. And it does not mean that Ishmael was not important, but he was not the one that got the blessing from Abraham. Yitzhak was the one. And if you think that I think that I'm better than you in any way because I am in that chain and legacy of Yitzhak by being the son of Yaakov that came from Abraham, you're totally wrong. And also among you, there are 10 lost tribes of the people of Israel. And the 10 lost tribes, the majority of them today are Christians or Muslims. And they are part of your people. And we have great affection to them and to any true believer. And we don't think that we are better than you. And if there is some Jewish people that are arrogant and think that they are better than you, so it's their problem. You need to understand that the connection to the Torah, to the original Torah, is fundamental, is very important, is very basic. And if you will not learn the original scripts in Hebrew and understand the wisdom of it, or the English Orthodox translations of the scripts, you will never find the truth because you're basing your knowledge on wisdom that was written 1500 years ago and we are basing our understanding on the revealing of Hashem the creator the maker of the world on Mount Sinai in front of all the children of Yaakov that were saved from Egypt and based on that we're basing our wisdom and our knowledge our understanding of how to serve and worship the creator of the world and you're basing your wisdoms on scripts that were written by people and not by the voice of Hashem. And I'm sorry, that's my honest opinion. And I don't want in any way to hurt your feelings. And I care for you and I love you. And I'm saying that from the bottom of my heart, I just want you to succeed and to rise and shine. And that we'll all be able to accept the face of Hashem and to serve Him like that it's written that in that day of redemption, the house of Hashem, like Hashem is saying, Ki beti, my house will be called the house of prayer to all nations, the Chol Amim. And the city of Zion, Yerushalayim, in a trial will be redeemed. She'll be redeemed. They're going to be a huge trial. And it's better in that day of judgment to be a good person, to be a kind person, to be a loving person, to be an honoring and respecting person. It's much, much better to have a heart in the day of trial than to have bitterness and anger. So aim your heart to the truth and the creator of the universe will see the honesty of your heart and will allow you to access and to find the true wisdom, the ancient wisdom, the real true wisdom that belongs to him and to find yourselves and to find him within you. All my love to you and to everyone that desires the truth. Blessings. The Emuna Project is a nonprofit dedicated to producing faith-based media. To support this work, visit emuna.com.